That's why I'm here today. You're not grinding. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Elijah Mindset Morgano. Elijah Mindset Morgano, author. Author, entrepreneur of social media done right, creator of Instagram 101 and the Mindset Detox. You are here because you have a question about your mindset. Listen, any questions that you have about your mindset, definitely share them with us. Put the questions below. I'm, I'm going to be trying to answer the question as we go. I am, listen, I don't know if y'all heard what Eric Thomas, Dr. Eric Thomas said, but he said, you are not where you are when you're chasing your dreams because of your mindset. And today we're gonna get we're gonna get fancy today. Like I I, I realized that I talk fast because I'm from up north and I and I have I, I I can talk fast at times. So what I'm gonna do? Oh, I gotta take that volume off. Well, Annie, thank you for watching too. Shout out to Annie. Annie is an amazing health and wellness expert. And so if you're looking to 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 lose a little weight before the new year, before school starts, check Annie out. Uh, thank you, Robin Green. But today, like instead of me talking super duper fast, what I'm going to do, because this is important, we got to understand that we as be human beings, we think and learn in pictures, pictures, the, th the pictures that come on our mind, what we pray about, what we vision. That's why vision boards are so powerful. That's why vision boards are so powerful. You can't see yourself being that millionaire or that coach or that great dad or that great husband. If you can't see that, there's no way that you can be that. So as always, we're going to go into prayer, but I am super excited about this episode because this is going to set a lot of people free. This right here, what does your mind look like? is going to set a lot of people free. So once again, Heavenly Father, this is your humble servant, Elijah. Mindset Morgana, just grateful. Grateful that you allowed me to walk, talk, and breathe. Grateful that you allowed me to see this day. I come to you and I ask for a fresh anointing. I come to you and I ask that you continuously bless my family, bless my words, bless my actions, that you continuously allow me to receive knowledge, which is the New Currency by Eric Thomas. So allow me to receive understanding of my physical being and understanding of the gifts that you've given me. And allow me to share the message that every one of us have a gift that we was given. And if we remove those limiting beliefs and we remove those roadblocks in our minds and we remove that enemy that, that, that we talk about how, how his shackles and we give it to you. We understand that everything that's going on in this world right now is operating at a different frequency. We understand that there's a shift going on in the culture. We understand that we understand that the world is going to you, but this enemy that they talk about wants to deceive us. He wants to lie, kill, and steal. He wants to deceive and blind us. But when you know who you are and when you know where you're going, when you understand your mindset, you understand that all things are possible. Not some things are possible, but all things are possible. You remind us that, you know what? When it gets too hard for my back because you made me very strong and you made me in your image, but when it gets too hard for my back, that I can lean on your will, and I can lean on your courage, and I can lean on your strength, and I can lean on your understanding because you said anything that I desire is already here. So I ask that you continuously allow those that are walking in faith, those standing and seeking knowledge and building relationships, I ask that you allow them to get the answers that they need today. I ask that those that may have been on the wall or on the fence have been pessimistic, that they open their minds to 
your grace, your glory, and your truth. And I ask that you do these things if it be in your son and our brother Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, listen. Listen, Renee, thank you for joining. I want to share something with y'all. I want to know what does your mind look like? I got four people in here right now. What does your mind look like? But before we, you start thinking about that, tell me what, the, what does your car look like? What color is your car? What, what, what about the inside of the car? Okay. What about your cell phone case? What color does that look like? The color of your front door. Listen, I asked those questions for a very good reason. I want to see y'all answers. So if y'all hear this, if y'all understood the questions, actually, I wanna, I, what am I doing? I got, I got this board. I forgot all about it. Look. Yo, I so want to know. I so want to know. And, and the thing about the reason that I want to know, because all those things that I prayed about, everything that y'all have seen, my family and friends have seen that I've gone through, has literally be, been the, because I found out what my mind looks like. And, and this is the thing. Most people are inclined to think that the mind is the brain, but the mind is no more the brain than my elbow is the br mind. The mind is... The brain is awesome. It's an electronic switching station. It had billions and billions of neurons and electrons firing off and it controls every aspect of our body, but the mind is not the brain. So when I'm here, as Elijah being the messenger, I'm here to share with you what changed my life. Uh, those that don't know, I, I, my backstory Six years ago, three years ago, I was looking at six years in prison, not because, not because I was a bad person, because I made stupid decisions, because I had bad habits, because I had a debilitating belief systems about what I can and cannot do and what circles I can get around and what jobs I can get. But those are no excuses. I made the choices. I took the responsibility. But I was looking at six years in prison. And this is when the first time I sat back and turned to someone higher than myself. And I was thinking about my children. And it was a very, very emotional time for me. And I, and I asked God to get me out. He turned six years into six days. He turned a felony into a misdemeanor. And he t got a disciple. Like I wear this hat every day. Every day. Like, I love Jesus. I love everything he stood for. I love Muhammad and everything he stood for. I love Gandhi and everything he stood for. I, I have that ability to choose to love and try to defend and discredit and dishonor because I understand frequencies and vibrations and I understand that our creator operates on a different frequency than we do. But I'm going to get back to that question about the mind after like, I wrap up this story. When I, when I got out of jail, it was awesome that I got out, but I got out with the record. So I can't work at SunTrust no more with, with a distribution charge. I can't work at T-Mobile no more. I can't, I can't work at no, no, no real sales job, no car sales. Like Understanding where I was and understanding that emotional Wait, I had to make a decision. And one of the decisions that I made is to become a speaker, take my gift of gab and put it into something positive. So I had to find things to speak about. I had to understand who I was and I had to understand what my mind was. We sit up here and talk about mind, body and spirit. We don't even know what our mind looks like. All those, things, all those questions that I asked y'all about your car and your door, Oh, Nara, thank you for joining. Danny, Leonard, thank you for joining. All those questions I asked you about those things that you own, you know what they look like because it gets a picture. You, you get a picture on, on the screen of your mind. And that's, and that's because we think in pictures. Most people are trying to change their, their mind by changing their results. You're trying to change your money habits by getting another job. Instead of changing the real cause, because I say this a lot, but most people don't catch it. I say, watch your thoughts because they become your actions. Watch your actions because they be create habits. Your habits 
create your character, which defines your destiny. That's in your mind. It starts with our thoughts. So I'm going to jump into it. But long story short, wrapping it up, I had to find some things to, to speak about. I, and, and one of the things that I was speaking about was leading me to people like Les Brown and George Frazier and Lisa Nichols and Bob Proctor and books and auto, books and autobiographies like The Secret and Document. Like I started, all this information started coming towards me, like, like raining down. And me and my brother was talking earlier and we was talking about how information, knowledge, I said, uh, you heard uh, Eric Thomas, I said, he says knowledge is the new currency. Get you some. My brother said, what? That ain't me. That ain't me. He said, like knowledge been here. Knowledge isn't new. It's new to Eric Thomas. I was like, oh, that's real. But knowledge, when you learn how to Harness and package and master your craft, your ability. Like you, it's all these coaches out here trying to coach you on being a super this and super that, but they don't even know who they are. They don't even know where they're going because they don't even know what their mind looks like. And habits are, are what we is what is controlled in our subconscious that our paradigms and I'm going to draw a picture with my mind and, and, and explain some of these terms that I'm using but paradigms are a multitude of habits which dictate how much money we make which dictate what opportunities or circles we get around which dictate whether or not we attract a, a, a significant other which and this is the thing most of your habits are not even yours the food you eat is not because you like to eat it. It's most of the time it's because your parents ate it and their parents ate it. Because it's embedded into your subconscious mind, by the way. And people trying to meditate and visual, visualize and, and pray and don't have an understanding of the fact that you need to know what your mind looks like before those visions can go in and take root. And, and, and really, and I'm going to tell you why they take root. For those of you that don't know what your mind looks like, I'm going to show you what my mind looks like. Ah, so, you heard me talk about the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. I'm going to give you a picture. head right there. That's a huge head. Yo, know, Manny, thank you for joining, bro. Mike, thank you for joining. Look, this is my mind. Actually, So look, that says conscious, subconscious, that's my body. That's my big head. And these are my five senses. Understand, this is the picture of my mind. When I'm visualizing, I'm putting the pictures and accepting and putting them down here and what my mind looks like. And I'm accepting it and I'm feeling what it feels like to, to, to live in that house or ride in that car or have that woman or make that check. So... I'm, and I'm sharing this with you because our conscious mind is what's called the educated mind. Educated mind. That's what, with a 10% of our mind capabilities, that's where it's located. That's what we utilize with hearing, touching, seeing, smelling, and feeling. Those are the major ways that information comes into that mind. Thoughts come into that mind. This mind right here. Positive or negative flows into it. This is the thing, and that's why if your environment plays more of a role on how you are and how you will be than your genetics. That's why when you grow up around a certain, in certain neighborhoods and, and certain cultures, they do certain things because your environment plays a major factor in what goes into this conscious mind. And the thing about it, the conscious mind 
But when you're a baby between the ages of zero and seven, you don't have that ability. This is not here. The only thing is here is the subconscious mind. And we're talking about these two minds because this is the thing. You are worrying about your thoughts and you're spending time worrying, worrying. Like when I went, when I went to, when I went to prison and I was looking at time, I, instead of me worrying, I focused on giving it to the positive. I, I focused on letting know God, you get me out of this. We're good. I got a praying grandmother. We're going to get out of here. Most people, and, and this is called mindset detox because outside of the worrying, what are you watching on TV? What are you, what are you looking at? Reality TV? Nothing against reality TV, but if all you see is bees this and holes that and driving these cars and I'm, I'm going to fight here and, and you watching CNN, constantly negative news, yo, what's, what's going to be flooding into this, negative or positive? Because you don't, one, most people don't even understand that the frequencies from the, from the TVs, from the frequencies from the radios are coming and entering our mind, frequencies from other people's thoughts. Like when you hang around negative people, that's why they say you usually are the sum of your five closest friends because the environment that you're sitting in plays a major role in what goes into your conscious mind and what will eventually go into your subconscious mind. And I say this because when I started to understand this, it got real. It got real. Because now I have the ability as an adult to... Pick what goes in here. I get to choose my circles. I get to choose and see what I want to watch on TV. I get to choose. Dr. YB connects because he had his daughter listening to that Eric Thomas. And his daughter was repeating that song. That's why our children can repeat songs and sing songs and do amazing things between the ages of zero and five. Because whatever mommy and daddy is playing, whatever auntie and uncle is playing, that is what's going into their subconscious mind. That is what's going into their subconscious mind and they don't have a choice. They don't have a choice to see Mommy smoking cigarettes. Why do you think you have generation after generation that's, that's addicted to cigarettes? Because they saw their mom doing it. They saw their uncle doing it. But when you understand as an adult, I'm 32 years old. When you understand, you know what? I can make a decision to put good stuff in me. Like following Les Brown and following George Frazier and now following Gary Vaynerchuk and Eric Thomas. Following all these winners. Reading history books about Abraham Lincoln and Napoleon Hill and Marcus Garvey, like really being able to understand people were winning. They were winning. They were doing certain things that was winning. And, one, and the main thing is them understanding what their mind looks like. Them understanding what a mastermind is. But that's another topic. That's another topic. I'm going to get to the good part now. Educated mind. It can accept or reject anything. So whatever you accept, positive or negative, gets filtered down into the subconscious. Gets filtered into the subconscious. Subconscious. Remember I was talking about feeling your vision boards and feeling your passions and feeling your dreams and feeling? Feelings is a term that we came to describe which vibrational frequencies our body is because mind is what everything is start like, but body is a manifestation of the mind. Like our body is not solid, it's moving at a very, 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 very high rate and frequency. When you feel good, that's why I talk about God has his own frequency, love, peace, enthusiasm. And the opposition have his own frequency, which is depression, anger. It's feelings. This is the thing. Whatever you feel most, most strongly about. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hold on right quick. It said, Danny Ray said, understand that you have to be willing to sustain the energy throughout the journey as the negative almost always supersedes the positive. That is super real. But this is the thing. I got 30 years of being negative. That's why I ended up in jail. But then I switched it. The past two years have been amazing because this is the thing. When you learn, and I consult business owners all the time. When you learn how to activate the mastermind principle, which is something that is very, very powerful. They say when two or more are, uh, when two or more come in my
in harmony and love, my presence is there. That, that's scripture, but what I'm saying is when two people are combined with emotions and harmony and feeling, what happens is a mastermind happens. And that's when you square happens. Like, like I said, that's another subject, but Danny, you, you, you're absolutely right about the negative will almost always supersede the positive because right now we're in a place where most people aren't thinking for themselves. Entrepreneur lifestyle allows you to think for yourself, allows you to start seeing these personal development books. Oh man, I didn't cut my camera on, so I'm good. But listen, back to the subconscious mind. Boom, back to the subconscious mind. Emotional mind. Emotional mind. Everything I told you, there's things called paradigms. Paradigms. Multitude of habits. They're stored in there. Multitude of habits. A habits is nothing more ideas or belief system. That's it. If you don't believe that you're worth a million dollars or $400,000 or $127,000 or you don't believe that you're worth $30 an hour, you can't ever get that. If you don't believe that you're worth having a good man, you will never get that. Will Smith and Confucius said, those who think they can and those who think they can't are both usually right. So understanding that paradigms is crucial because they're stored in there and that's what operates this body of ours. And let me give you a, a paint you a picture. When you ate your, your dinner tonight, did you... Have to digest your food and be like, look, this is good food that is waste. No. When you get a cut on your finger, do you say, finger, I need you to come together? No. Are you telling your heart to pump blood to millions of places? Are you telling the blood in your vein, the bloods, the mouths and mouths of veins that are in your body, are you telling them to cleanse and, and keep the good stuff? No. You know what's doing that? Our subconscious mind. Because I create a program that's perfectly in all ways, shape, forms, and fashion to one, heal ourselves, to one, make ourselves feel as though we're beautiful or feel as though we, we, we want to gain weight or lose weight. That's all in here. How, which ways you take the work, how you put your pants on, you know, how you put, what shoe you put on first. If you a smoker, if you a cheater. If you're a womanizer, if you're a woman, all those things get placed in here. Good, bad, right, wrong, indifferent. And if nobody told us about this in school. Nobody, and I didn't go to university, but I, if, if anybody went to university and learned about this, because this is how you change this, your results. If you have money problems because of your, your job or your boss, it's because of you and your belief systems. It's because what's been placed in here is, is tainted. It's garbage. And if this is garbage, all of this is garbage. And you're going to attract garbage. But if this, this is great, and if this has information to share, this has good results. Because this is the... And they want to be uh, millionaires and billionaires. But they don't, they don't grind like a millionaire or billionaire grind. Either grinding on building out your network, which is your building out your community, or grinding 17 hour days, grinding, traveling all up and down states while you're honing your craft, grinding, actually caring about the people you connected to. Because this is the thing as an entrepreneur, shout out, this is a quick side note entrepreneurs, the definition of entrepreneur is a person that solves people's problems for profit or, per, or pay with their products and services. So the more problems you solve, the more information or knowledge you have in here, you, the more problems you can solve. Like outside of just uh, that social media book, I taught myself social media. Now I teach other people social media. I taught myself this. I didn't go to school. Like this is all self-educated, but the amount of hours that I put in, I could have got two degrees already. Because when you're going after what you love, but you, when you're going after what's really embedded inside of you, you don't, you don't, nobody don't have to wake you up for it. Nobody don't have to tell you this is what you need to do. Nobody don't tell you this, you need to do videos every day. No one don't tell you you need to post every day on Facebook. Nobody don't tell you you need to read blogs. They don't have to because it's embedded in here. Because you know what winning feels like. It feels good to win. It feels real good to win 
Even when things aren't going perfect, it feels good to have an understanding that, you know what? I have knowledge enough to make money at any given time because I know how to solve problems. But if I, I got to get out of my way and allow myself to create habits and rituals of success. Because when you visualize in here, this mind right here cannot reject anything. Can't reject anything. So all those vision boards and those, those visualizations and prayers and you seeing yourself in the mansion, the reason that they tell you that to see yourself in and feel, you got to feel it. You got to feel the emotion that you get for winning a million dollars or the emotion that you get for paying off your mortgage or the emotion that you get when you saw your first love or the emotions that you get when you saw your baby born. You got to visualize it and feel it. And believe that you already have it. Stop saying one day or someday because those days don't exist. You can say, you know what? I am so happy now that I'm already a millionaire. I am so happy now that money flows to me in increasing amounts daily. I am so happy now that love comes to me every day. I am so happy now that, you know what? My assets are growing in increasing amounts. And feel that. Did you feel my energy just now? I am so happy now that I am so happy now that I am an all-star. No, that doesn't work. Your subconscious don't believe that. You have to feel it. But this is the thing. Because this doesn't have the ability to reject, once you plant habits, great habits of waking up early and writing affirmations and watching your vision boards and positive stuff and sowing good seed and being grateful even when it's not time to be grateful you start to build this up and what it does is it unlocks a door to one more part of the mind so yeah this is when science meets theology this is when understanding who you are and not feeling uncomfortable because, oh, he said the G word, God, or the creator of the universe. Uh, like, this is where, how does that even make sense? Because when you unlock your subconscious, the keys, and you have an understanding and awareness, you unlock a part that we're directly connected to our creator. We're directly connected to the energy field that's going around the world. We're directly connected to every being in this world because they say love thy neighbor not because it's a cool thing to do. Love thy neighbor because you're loving your neighbor, you're loving yourself. There's only one God, the universal mind. Anything that you ever desire is already here. Every idea iPads, tablets, these, these were ideas before they came into reality, but it already exists. And when you learn how to tap into this, you learn how to attract anything that you want. But it's just about staying consistent. And this is the thing about it. You track anything that you want, but you also attract anything that you don't want. If you're flooding your mind with nothing but negative, you're going to attract robbers. You're going to attract Thieves, you're going to attract womanizers, you're going to attract doubters, you're going to attract procrastinators, you're going to attract, you see what I'm saying? But if you fill it with the opposite, you think I talked about this universal mind because it's a very, very powerful tool when you understand that you can ask our creator for anything and he'll give it to you as long as you've been putting in in your mind and in your soul, if you've been putting in good, he hears you. He can give it to you. You're vibrating on his frequency. You can send that message. You can Skype him. You can FaceTime him. You can, you can Snapchat him. You can, you can Insta story him. You got a message in a direct line to our creator. Like I don't, I didn't learn this and know all this because in all honesty, I just wanted to get money. Yeah, I tell you a story about giving my life to the Lord, but in all honesty, I just wanted to get money. I, and, and because I had to provide for my family. So I, the past three to five years, I've been on a road to perfecting and honing my craft. And I can put this on anything. Social media, 
graphic design, anything, anything you want. But I say this because now that I put in the work, the man hours, it allows me to approach a negative situation or circumstance thinking twice. It allows me to be aware when I get goosebumps, when I give myself a good thought. It allows me to be aware because our body sits back and tells us everything we need to know. It allows me to get that gut feeling when things are about to go crazy and I need to make a move and get my family out here. It allows me to still stay tapped into our creator and understand that energy is everywhere. Holy Spirit is everywhere. The only thing about it is it's only everywhere to those that believe. So like I said, I want to leave y'all with, we're launching, yeah, we're launching uh, Transformation University. I appreciate that. Enrique, Douglas, thank y'all for watching. Like, uh, we're launching Transformation University of Life. This is something that was placed on our heart almost a, almost a year ago, and we just ran with it. We just made a decision, me and my brother and my wife, we ran with it, and it's starting to come into fruition now. And most people don't know, I know all this stuff. realize that this isn't for me. None of this is for me. It's for the masses. Your test and your testimony, your mess and your message is not for you. Like when I changed my mind from worrying about currency and focus on legacy, it allowed me to tap into things like this. My network is 20,000 worldwide in 113 countries. Yo, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a regular dude from Newark, Newark, New Jersey. I didn't go to college. Like, like, like Eric Thomas talking about my mom ain't had no network, but my mom had it. My mom was cool with people, not people that's making millions of dollars, not pastors and men, not senior pastors and, and board of directors and Fortune 500 and serial entrepreneurs. One of the laws, this, this world is governed by laws. This is a law, but this world is governed by laws. And one of the laws that's out there, you get in life what you are, not what you want. That's the law of vibration. Understanding that you can't, you can't getting those circles or those back rooms with the with the pastors and the preachers and the, the millionaires and the CEOs and the venture capitalists until you become a millionaire or a man of God or a man of the cloth or a woman of God in your mind first. So all those people that tell you you're crazy for chasing your dreams, all those people that tell you you're crazy for failing and keep going through, this is the thing. Failure is part of the process. If you don't fail, you ain't going to learn. You ain't going to learn what not to do. If you're not studying what, what people tell you, don't do this because I did this and it didn't work. So I share with you, Transformation University of Life, social media done right, books is, is, is now out, like... I love my life right now. I love my life. I love the lives of the people that I get to see on these Facebook lives. Like Danny Ray Martin. Shout out to Danny Ray. This is I appreciate you for, for, for chiming in, bro. But like this guy, he has he's launching a, 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 a software that is gonna revolutionize. Look, I'm a gamer. Like I play video games. <laughs> and, and, and so like me talking about all this, like I used to study Madden ebooks. But Danny Ray, he is, he's launching an app that is going to revolutionize everything. He's chasing it. But he, he's chasing it so hard because it's, it's in his mind. He's already seen it done. And to be able to watch him grow. And to be able to watch a Miss B grow. To be able to watch a Enrique grow, Enrique grow. Be able to watch a Clarence grow. To be able to sit in circles that I was never sitting in. But the most important thing that I love about this entire journey is to be able to see my kids want to start their own business, is to be able to take my daughter and know that she has no frontal cortex and whatever I put in her subconscious is going to plant seeds of greatness. The same thing with the rest of my children. That's why my son, who's going to the fifth grade, reads every book that I read. That's why my children ask questions because that's the only way you can activate your mind. School teaches you to shut up and be quiet. Nothing against school, but once you start stop asking questions, you stop growing. And once you start stop growing, you start dying. I told you I stopped focusing on currency and start focusing on legacy. And our creator allowed me to get things that's going to leave a legacy for my children and my children's children. So listen, like I really... Like this message, this mission, 
this purpose. I hope y'all got something out of it. I hope you now know what your mind looks like and your capabilities and your potential. But none of it matters if you don't believe. Doesn't matter. Without those who think he can and those who think he can't are both usually right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Ha! Everybody got a dream, but not everybody got a grind. Uh, I'm grinding for the kingdom. What about you? I'm building our legacy. What about you? What your mind look like? I grind. I grind. I grind. I grind. I grind, I grind. One hundred, one hundred. You are where you are because of how you think. How you think? Information changes situations. Knowledge is the new money. Get you some. You heard that? Knowledge is the new money. Get you some. Knowledge is the new money. Get you some. Information changes situation. This guy that y'all listening to right now, he makes anywhere from twenty-five to fifty thousand just to come and speak for a couple hours. If not, he has a university, and I say this because this is who I've been learning from. This is who the people around me have been learning from. I surrounded my, yo, I strategically started putting whatever I want in my mind. And this is the thing, I got journals to prove it. But y'all stay blessed and highly favored. I'm out of here. Boo, yeah.